today we will be doing work, energy and power. Work and energy. Basically. So talking in the normal sense or in our everyday life when we say of the work, so always we see, uh, we say something we are doing. Whatever we do, we call it as work. That in our everyday life, just uh, cutting up grass is also a work. Writing a piece of paper is also a work. Okay. If you are making decisions, you are thinking that is also a work. You are going to the office, that is also a work. If you are sleeping, you say that is also work. So everything is work for our, uh, for us in our everyday life. Whatever task we have to do, so we uh, to do the list is called as the work. Okay, but physics gives us a clear cut idea of the work, and since it considers work as a physical quantity, so it gives us the measure of the work. That how can we measure the amount of work? How the amount of work can be measured? So let us see what is work. Or how do the how does the physics define work? How does physics say that you can say yes in at this place there is some work or not? So when do we say some work has been done? When do we say that some work has been done? To do a work, you have you must apply some force. When you you say that I have done some work or you are doing some work, so you must apply some force on it. You must put some effort. To, to, uh, to do that work. So first of all, there must be an effort which has been put on. Okay. So in some, maybe sometimes some work has been done, but that's not your effort. So that means you have not done that. Okay. If something has done uh, work for you, so that is a different thing that we talk as the negative work or positive work. We also talk as the, what is negative work and what is positive work. Okay, so what we say as work, you have any object or anything you can have. Suppose if you have this a mass M and you apply some force on it. So if you apply some force on it, it must produce an acceleration. Okay, so it must produce an acceleration. So if you are applying some force F, it produces some acceleration and hence it covers some displacement the object will cover some displacement against some force. Okay. So, suppose it has displaced by some dis uh, some displacement. There is some displacement S between them. We call this as displacement S between the two of Between the, its initial position and final position. Okay. So, as we can observe here clearly, that whatever force we have applied and whatever distance displacement is there, they are in the same direction. Okay. Since I am putting my effort along the positive direction or along the right direction, so the displacement should also be in the same direction. If the displacement is in some other direction, then that is obviously not my work. That is obviously someone else is doing that. Okay. So when I say my work, so my work means my effort and my displacement. Okay. Suppose if the uh, suppose uh, the case can be like I take a ball, I take a mass like M. I am applying my efforts like this. I am applying my effort like this, but it has it does not have any displacement along this direction. Rather, it displaces it displaces in the vertical direction. It displaces, it displaces something like this in the vertical direction. Okay. So can you displace any object by making an effort along this direction? If you are making an effort along the positive direction, this is the direction of displacement. So if you are making a force along the right direction or on the positive x-axis, so the displacement, if there is any displacement along the perpendicular direction, so we will yeah. say that no, no, that's not your effort. The displacement is not because of your effort. Okay. Yeah, someone was ha having any doubt. Yeah, did anyone had any doubt? So understood the, uh, these portions. If I'm applying a force, so the displacement is taken in the direction of the force. Whatever effort I'm putting up, so I'm doing that work. And when I am doing that work, 
So either there are two things that can happen. Okay. Either I must be doing a work against some resistive force. There must be some force which is resisting my work. Okay. Or it can happen that uh, if there is no resistive force, so whatever I work I do, that will be changed to its kinetic energy. For example, suppose here, uh, if I try to lift this up, okay, I want to lift this up. So I must apply a force in the perpendicular direction. I must apply a force vertically. Right? I must apply a force like this. If I want to lift a mass, so I must apply a force in the upward direction. Right? So, the ball may have a vertical displacement. It may have a vertical displacement. Let's say it has some vertical displacement of H. Okay. So, I am doing some work. I am applying my effort. So, I am doing some work to lift this mass from a ground level to a certain height H. Now, what is the resistive force? Against which force am I doing the work? Can you guess against which force am I doing the work? Prince, against what force am I doing the work? When I am lifting a box upward, when I am lifting a mass upward. So, is there any force against which I am doing the work? Yes, sir. Against gravity. No. Against gravity. I am doing some work against the gravity. Okay, so I, every time I am doing my work against some force. So here I am doing my work against gravity. Okay, now how to measure this force? How to measure the amount of work I have done? Because ultimately for doing any work I require energy. Can you do any work without any energy? Can you do a piece of work without any energy? Sir. No. And since work, if you want to measure, work can be measured and it is required to be measured. For example, suppose if you want to uh, fill up your water tank. Okay. If you want to fill up the water tank, which is on the top of your building. So, the motor requires some energy that is electrical energy to do the work. And the work is the motor has to lift some mass from the bottom and it has to do some work against gravity to lift it above. Okay. So some work is being done over here by the motor to lift the mass. However, it is carrying out small, small masses continuously, but that motor is of course doing some work, right? It is carrying out some mass from bottom to the top. So it is doing some work. It is applying some effort. It is doing some work in carrying the mass of the water from bottom to the top. Okay. And to, to do that work, it requires energy. And how do we supply that energy to the motor? How do we supply that energy to the motor? Anyone? Prince, how do we supply that energy? If a motor is doing work to lift the water from bottom to top. Sir, electrical energy. Electrical energy. We are supplying electrical energy and that is why the motor is able to do work. Okay. So, I think you have understood what is the amount of work. Okay. So, work is measured. Let us see how to measure the work. I hope you have understood when can we say that work has been done. If we apply some force and there is a displacement in the direction of force. So we say that some work has been done. Okay. So what is work? It is measured as the product of force and displacement. How do we measure work? It is measured as the product of force and displacement. Work. It is measured as the product of Work is measured as the product of 
measured as the product of force and displacement. Okay. So it is measured as the product of force and displacement. If you have a force and that force is making out some displacement, so we say that the amount of work done, we will say that the work done will be equal to force times displacement. Okay. And this work done, it depends on how much you have force you have applied and how much of the displacement has been provided. So it, it is a factor which depends on both the things, the amount of force being applied and the amount of displacement that is being applied. It is a scalar quantity. It's not a vector quantity. So scalar quantities do not have any direction. Hence, the work done does not have a direction. It does not have any direction as uh, it north, south, north, east, west, whatever. So amount of work, we are just considered with the amount of work, how much of the work is there? There is no direction of the work. Sir, yeah. but then we also have positive work, negative work, and zero work, right? What about that? Yeah. Positive work, negative work. We can have positive work. We can have negative work. We can have zero work. Okay. But that depends. That just tells you who has done the work. Is the work done by the system? Is the work done on the system? By the system and on the system, there these are the two things. Okay. So that we can call as the positive work and negative work. Okay. So that we can call as the positive work and the negative work. Suppose it's just like, uh, suppose if you are taking money from someone. Okay. So that is a negative thing. And if you are giving out money to someone, so that is we consider as a positive thing. So it is a similar thing we consider as the work also. Positive and negative. So who is doing it? It depends on the doer. Okay. So I have. I hope you have understood about the work. Okay. However, we see that work is the product of the two vector quantities. It is the product of two vector quantities, force and displacement. But even if it is a vector, even if it is a, a force and displacement are vector quantities, still the work is a scalar quantity. Right now, the SI units. How can we measure them? What will be the units? So SI units of measurement. SI unit of its measurement is given since force is measured in newton and displacement is measured in meter. So SI unit of the work done will be newton meter. This will be newton meter. SI unit of work is newton meter. Right. see. So SI unit is Newton meter and the Newton meter is also called Joule. We also call the same Newton meter as Joule. If the force is measured in Newton, the displacement is measured in meter. So the amount of work done will be measured in Newton meter or Joule. Symbol just J. J is the symbol for J. Okay. So <laughs> Uh, just uh, we'll do a small question and then we'll understand this again that what are the different ways of doing work like a, the amount of positive work negative work so just to understand this let's do a small question so i think that that question you can do orally okay so let's see a force of everyone do a force of 20 Newton displaces a mass mass of 10 kilogram 
by 50 centimeter. Find the work done by the force. Uh, Who can tell the answer? Sir, sir the uh, work done by the force is 200 nanometer, uh, 200 joules. Just check it once more. Wait. Uh, 50 centimeters. Yeah, it's 50 centimeters. So 10. So 10, 10 newton? Yes, sir. 10 newton? 10 newton meters. Joules. Okay. So the work done here is 10 Newton meter or 10 Joule, right? So we can measure the work done. We here measure the work done. To measure the work done, again, we use the formula of work, which is force into displacement. So force we measured as 20, multiply displacement is 50 centimeter. So we convert this displacement of 50 centimeter to meter. It will be 0 0.5 meter, and hence, if you multiply, you get 10 Newton meter, which is 10 Joule. You can just say 10 Joule of work has been done. Okay. So, understood everyone how to compute the amount of work done? Yes, sir. Okay. So, let's see another example. A boy tries to push a wall. Okay. And he applies a force of Let's see. A bar tries to pull, to push a wall by applying a force of hundred newton, but is not able to move it. Well, to do so. What is the work done by him? Zero. Zero. Zero? Yes. yes sir. Zero. So everyone agrees he has done zero work done? Yeah, because a hundred times zero is zero. Yeah, hundred times zero is zero. Okay, he, there is no displacement. So that means if you are doing some, if you are applying some force, Okay. And by applying some force, there is no net displacement. There is no displacement. So in that case, we say that the work done will be zero. Right? So this is a case of zero work done. We can say that the person has not done any work. If he has applied some force, if he has applied some force, but there is no displacement. Okay. Now, there are other cases also of zero work. Let's see. Types of work now. You see some types of work. A work can be either. Either we can have a positive work. So Siddharth, uh, what do you mean by a positive work? When uh, both the displacement and the energy is positive. Both the displacement and energy. Hmm. Both the displacement and energy. No. So it's when displacement When displacement and force act along the same direction. They act along the same direction. So we say that work is positive. Then we say that the work is positive. For example, suppose... I take this mass, just we did, and I, I applied some force on it. Let's say I applied some force of 10 Newton on this mass, and it moves through a displacement of, let's say it moves through a displacement of uh, 
20 centimeter just we did and let's say it moves through a displacement of 2 meter right so the amount of work done will be 20 newton meter or 20 joule we can say that the amount of work done is 20 joule now since as we can observe in this the displacement is in the direction of the force whatever direction I have applied the force, that is the direction of displacement. But this is not always true, that always it's not necessary that you are applying the force and the displacement is in the direction of force. This is not always true. The displacement can be in a direction opposite to the direction of displacement, uh, direction of force also. Or it can be somewhere perpendicular to the direction of work also. It can form any other angle with the work. Like if it, if we say, suppose uh, in the same case, okay, a similar situation we, uh, we are doing, consider a ball rolling on a surface. So here we give a surface and on this surface the ball is rolling. So I roll a ball from here or I slide a mass, anything is happening over here. So as a mass is sliding and while sliding, the mass comes to a stop after traveling a certain distance. So I'm not applying any force right now. Okay. Or even if I'm applying the force, let's see. So the it has covered some displacement. Suppose I imparted it some initial velocity V. Okay. It started moving with some initial velocity V. But as we saw that the surface is rough. Okay. So surface is rough. Therefore, the surface offers some amount of friction to its motion, right? Friction is also a type of force. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, and friction is a type of force which always oppose motion. So, friction will not make the object move. But rather, the friction opposes motion. So, here the friction will try to oppose this oppose the motion of the ball since the ball is trying to move or the mass is trying to move to another position it has some velocity so friction tries to oppose it and it comes to a rest when it reaches over here at its final position it comes to rest it does not have any velocity so can i say that the friction is doing some work here Okay, let's visualize it a little bit closer now. As I can observe, the mass, this mass M, it is moving along the positive direction. Right? The mass M is moving along the positive direction and the motion, all the force of friction, it always acts in a direction opposite to the direction of motion. So therefore, the force of friction must act along the negative direction. Right? Yes or no? Yes. So here force of friction is not causing the motion. Rather it is opposing the motion. So I will say that the force of friction has done some work. But that work is a negative work. It's not a positive work. Okay. Since the friction is making a, an angle of greater than... A, an angle of greater than uh, 90 degree. It's making an angle of 180 degree. Okay. The force of friction is making an angle of 180 degree. It's opposite to each other. Now, this is the direction of force and this is the direction of displacement. So, both of them, they are opposite to each other. So, here in this case, we have an example of negative work done. Here, some negative work is done. No positive work is done here. It's a negative work done. We can observe some other examples also. Let us see some other examples done by the gravity. Okay. Suppose I take a ball. Again, a mass I am taking. And I... So this is a mass I have taken. And let's say apply. I apply some force F in the upward direction. Okay, so that I want to raise it to a certain height. Now I raise it to a certain height h. Okay, so I have done some work. Obviously, I have applied the force. 
and my force is in the direction of the displacement, right? Right or wrong? Say that. Say that. Yes, sir. Uh, what is uh, is the displacement in the direction of the applied force? Yes, sir. Okay. So, is it is it a positive work or a negative work? Sir, if the displacement is hmm? according the displacement. to the force applied, then it is positive. Okay. If it see they are in the same direction, I am applying the force to lift this mass. I have to apply the force in the upward direction. So my force is in the upward direction. My displacement is also in the upward direction. So this is a positive work, right? Pranaya? Yes, sir. Okay, so this is a positive work? Sir, I think so, yeah. but then the ball will come down due to gravity, so it might also be negative. Okay, so don't... Uh, don't care about where it will come down or not. Sir, if it, it comes down, displayed, so it, maybe positive. Okay, if it comes down, so network will network done will be zero, as the displacement will come to zero. Okay, so in that case, the work done will be zero. Now, if I say so, the, see earlier my question was what was my question that what is the work done by the force, right? Positive. The work done by force and our answer was positive. Clearly, it's positive. So our answer was positive. Okay. Now, and along with it, there is some other force also acting, and that is the force acting due to gravity. Okay. And the gravity is trying to pull it back. The gravity is trying to pull it back. Okay. So if I change the question again. Just the same, same situation, but just I change the question that what is the work done by gravitational force? So what is the work done by the gravitational force? So now, will it be a positive or negative? Negative. So it's going in opposite direction of gravity, so it's a negative. It's negative. See, the situation is saying, but again, the same thing. Who is doing the work? If you are asking, uh, what is the work done by the gravity? Then it is a negative work done. If you are asking, uh, what is the, the work done by B? That's positive. Understood this concept? It depends on who is doing the work. Okay. So here, since it is a gravitational force, the force of gravity here is doing a negative work. So work done by the gravitational force will be negative. Understood this? Okay. So understood both the concepts of positive work and negative work. The same in the same situation, it depends on what force are we talking about. Okay. Maybe some work is done, maybe some positive work is done, but that is done by some other force. Maybe some negative work is done, but that is done by some other force. We have to think in the context in which we are asked. So if you are asked what is the work done by the gravity, so it is a negative work done. If we are asked what is the work done by your applied force, that is a positive work done. Right? Similarly, in the previous here, similarly here, like I asked you, what is the work done by the force of friction? So since force of friction is acting in the positive direction, there is a displacement in the positive direction. So they are opposite to each other. And what will be the work done by the friction then? What is the work done by friction? Positive or negative? Positive or negative? A negative. Negative. Now, if I say the same thing, the same situation. Now, if I say I apply some force F, okay, I'm applying some force F to move this object 
from the position A to the position B. Okay. So what is the work done by me? Positive. Positive. So understand who is doing the work. Work done by the friction is negative. Work done by me is positive. Okay, so read the complete con context, who is doing the work, that is important. And on that basis, we say whether it is a positive work or whether it is a negative work. Okay, so see, in this question, we have understood uh, the negative work. Done. Okay, now what is zero work? Done? Let us see, when can we say that the work is work done is zero? Okay. When we will say that the work done is zero? Zero work. Either, when either yeah. force or uh, a displacement is zero. Yeah. If there is some displacement, but I am not applying the force. Okay. Like, like suppose there are a number of uh, heavenly bodies which are moving. Okay. Suppose uh, the, moon is, the moon is moving, but am I applying any force? on the moon to move, make it move? I'm not going to apply any force on the moon. So if I ask you, what is the work done by me on the moon? Zero. I, I'm not applying any force on the moon. There is no displacement of, of the moon in my direction of force. So my work done will be zero. Sir, is and it to... when, like both the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other? Okay, so I'm coming to that also. What will be my contribution of the force? So for that, you think of this situation. I give you this example again. Okay. Suppose uh, this is the block. Okay. And I am applying some force like this. I am applying some force like this. So by applying a force in the upward direction, Will I be able to move this block like this? Can you move this block along the positive direction by applying a force in the upward direction? Only? Yes, anyone? Can we, uh, can we make any displacement in the positive direction? Rikshit, Siddhisri? Aman, Siddhisri? Yes, sir. Is, is it possible for us to move the a block in the upward direction? I think yes, sir. If I want to move the block like this, suppose I want to move the block in the uh, along the horizontal. I want to move the block along this direction. This is the displacement. I want to move the, I, but I'm applying the force like this in the upward direction. So will the block move in the upward direction or will it move along the horizontal direction? Where will it move? Where will it move? Upward or horizontal? Horizontal. Horizontal. Sir, you are think... forcing horizontal, no, sir. I am applying the force in the upward direction. I am lifting it okay, like this. So it will go upward. It will go upward. I cannot yes. move it like this. Okay. So this is not possible. I can't do this. Similarly, if you are doing like this, suppose you, uh, you have another block and on this block, on this block, I want you to apply a force like this. I want to apply a force straight like this. Okay. I want to apply the force on this block like this. And will you be able to lift this block by applying a force like this? If you apply a force just straight horizontally. No, you so cannot lift. You cannot lift them. Then you cannot have a displacement in the vertical direction. So that means okay, there sir. is... There is some dependency of the force, uh, the angle between the force and displacement. That dependency is that if the force makes an angle of 90 degree, 
between the force and displacement is the angle is 90 degree so there is no contribution of the force in the displacement okay the force is not contributing anything to the displacement and hence the work done is zero and hence in this case we will say that the work done is zero uh, harini and aman is there any problem in turning on the cameras and Siddhi Sri? Sir, my laptop is stuck, so that's all. Okay. So, please keep it informed in the group. If you are having any, any problem, so please keep it informed in the group so that I know that your cameras will be off. Okay, okay sir. Otherwise, it's not good that I keep on highlighting in the group that your camera is off. Whoever is having any problem, so just inform in the group. Like it, the group message is not just like that. We read those. So that I am aware that uh, either you are outside or you are facing some network issue or anything of uh, of that sort. For This is for everyone, not just for Siddhi Sri. I am telling for everyone. Okay. So Harini. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, is there any problem with you? No, sir. Just internet is a little slow. Okay. So whatever your problem be, just uh, report us uh, the message so that we know, yes, you are aware and your parents know that, yes, you are not, the camera is not off. Otherwise, there is some missing link. Right? Yes. Okay. So see, just by this discussion, we are aware that if I am applying the force perpendicular, so I cannot cause any displacement in the perpendicular direction. My force cannot cause any displacement in the perpendicular direction. Okay. So, therefore, if anywhere or in any case, if we observe a displacement perpendicular to the direction of force, so we say that the work done is zero. There is no work done by the force. Right. So, zero work done will also be considered when force is perpendicular to displacement. So, everyone knows this, that the force, if the force and uh, displacement, they are perpendicular to each other, then work done will be zero. But why it will be zero? As there is no contribution of the force to the displacement. If force is perpendicular to displacement, so then we say, then work done is zero. Work done by that force is zero. Okay. Now, let's see another thing. Another example over here. Okay. Consider a pulley. This example you might have heard a number of times. Okay. But let's understand this. Consider a porter who is uh, carrying out the luggage on his head. Okay. So, how is he carrying out? Suppose initially the luggage was lying over here on the ground. He lifts this on his head. He lifts the luggage on his head, travels some dis uh, distance, stops over here. Okay. And here he stops, he keeps the luggage at the bottom. Right. So, now first of all, we see what are the different forces against which the work has, has been done. Okay, so Siddharth, what are the different forces that are acting on the uh, porter? Yeah, Siddharth. Siddharth. Sir, I don't think he is there. Siddharth, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so what are the different forces that are acting on the porter? So, gra gravity and... Gravity and... The weight of the box. So, that weight of the box is due to gravity only? Yes. 
See, first of all, the pulley is doing a work against the gravitational force. Okay, he's lifting it upward. So suppose he lifts it to a certain height edge. Okay, so he is doing some work against the gravitational. Okay, so if someone is asked, what is the work done by the pulley against the gravitational force? Has he done any work? So let us see. So first of all, is the gravitational force which is acting on this block. So the pulley is doing some work against the gravitational force to lift it up. And then finally it places it down. So what is the net displacement? Against gravitational force, what is the net, net displacement? What is the net displacement against the gravitational force? The 9.8. No, 9.8 is the so displacement. It's zero. It's zero. See, initially he started from the ground level. Okay. He lifted it up to a height edge. And then again, he kept it at that level only. And the gravity is acting in the downward direction. So his vertical displacement. What is the vertical displacement of the box? Zero. Zero. So his vertical displacement is zero. So therefore, work done by the pulley on this block will be zero. Right? Now, while walking, while walking, the pulley is traveling against some displacement. So he is also traveling from this point A to the point B. Okay, so there is a net displacement, but is there any uh, any work done against gravity? Let's see. The gravitational force is acting in the downward direction, but the displacement is in the horizontal direction. So is there any work done against the gravitation by the gravitational force? Sir. Yeah, is there any work done by the gravitational force, Prince? Yes, sir. <clears throat> okay. See, the gravitational force is acting in the downward direction. The displacement is in the horizontal direction. So what is the angle between them? 90 degrees. Nine. Prince, you are not responsive. You are getting lost somewhere. Yes, Prince. Yes, what sir. Is the angle, what is the angle between the gravitational force and the displacement? Sir, perpendicular. 90. Per 90 degree. They are perpendicular to each other and it is 90 degree. So can I say that the gravitational force is doing some work on this? For this displacement, is there any contribution of the gravitational force? No, sir. No, so what will be the work done? The work done will be zero. Right? Here the work yes, done by the gravitational force or work done against the gravitational force will be zero. Okay. So if you are asked what is the work done by this porter against the gravitational force, the work done is zero. Okay, as the angle between his displacement and the gravitational force is zero. But yes, this porter is also doing some work against the friction. Okay, since the friction is doing some, friction is acting in the opposite direction of the displacement and the man has to apply some force, the man has to apply some force opposite to the direction of force. Okay, so what is the work, is there any work done by the man against friction? Pranaya, is there any work done by the man on uh, against friction? So wait, so the man is uh, lifting the box? No, when the man has lifted the box, he has moved to some displacement B. Okay. Okay. So is there any work done by the man against friction? Yes, sir, because he's moving it, right? It's He's displacing it from one place to another. He's displacing, he's applying some force. And his force is acting in the direction of displacement. 
so we will say the porter has done some work against friction he has done some work against friction but he has not done any work against the gravitational force or the gravitational force has not done any work on this uh, box understood this problem yes sir aman yes sir understood this yes sir so in this problem whenever you are asked think what all things are here okay what if it is asked what is the work done by the gravity if it is asked what is the work done by the man against the friction okay so the things matter now see another example consider a circular motion Okay, just see a circular motion. So suppose if you have a stone, you have a stone tied to this. You have a stone which is tied to the center and I want to revolve this stone in this circle. I want to move this stone in the circle. It has been tied to a thread. I want to move it like this. Okay. So, uh, do I need to apply any force or will it move on its own? Aman, do I need to apply any force or can it move on its own? So, you need to apply force. I need to apply the force. And in which direction do I need to apply the force? Let's say this is the center O, this is the point A. So in which direction do I need to apply the force? Have, have you done any time, Aman? Have you done this activity? Revolving a stone with a thread? No, sir. No. Yeah, when it comes back to the same exact point, the displacement is zero. Let's start this. Let's start this moving. Once it starts moving, so in which direction we need to apply the force for it to move? I'm just asking this. Sir, any, any direction. Any direction. Can you move it in any direction? Uh, can you move it uh, by applying force in any direction? See, we need to apply a force. Okay. So, Aman? Aman? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, answer me. So, if you apply any any direction, let's say I apply a force in this direction. Uh, over, I apply a force like this. Okay. So, I'm not holding over it. Why should I hold it? I leave this from here and I apply a, a force like this. So, will it go in a circle? No, sir. I don't hold it. You have to hold it. So why do I have to hold it? What I am doing by holding it? Yeah, Aman, what I am doing by holding it? Sir, the the distance, the displacement between those two points will be the same. So uh, to keep that displacement same, am I not applying any force? Don't I have to hold it tightly? Otherwise, the ball will skip out. Yes, sir. Okay. So, am I not applying any force? Yes. Of course, I am applying a force. And to keep it moving in a circle, to keep any object moving in a circle, I must apply a force towards the center. Every time, I must apply a force towards the center. If any object is moving in a circle, so I must apply a force towards the center. Okay. And the, this force towards the center, it is called as the centripetal force. Okay. So I, every time I need to apply it towards the center. Okay. And if you observe at any point, it has its displacement along the tangent line. The ball has its displacement like this. Right? If I am... I'm standing at the center O. 
अभी नो इफ आई एम स्टैंडिंग एट द सेंटर ओ एंड आई ऑब्जर्व दिस बॉल ओके सो आई विल ऑब्जर्व दिस बॉल गोइंग अपवर्ड सो माई ऑब्जर्वेशन इज दैट द डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन इफ द बॉल इज हेयर आई विल ऑब्जर्व द डिस्प्लेसमेंट अलॉन्ग दिस टेंशनल डायरेक्शन सो हेयर वी ऑब्जर्व दैट एज यू कैन सी फोर्स एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट दे आर मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री okay so since force and displacement they are making an angle of 90 degree so therefore here the work done by us what work we are doing the work done by us by us is zero there is no work done by us you can keep it moving by just uh, tight um, making it tight with anything you are applying the force but you are not doing any work okay so understood this circular motion if an object moves in a circle so the work done is zero okay so bye everyone good night we'll see in the next class and we'll continue with this again bye sir okay, thank bye. you thank you so much okay